I'm really excited about recently completing my instrument rating. So when I tell friends or coworkers about it, I typically mention a couple of things. One, I can fly through clouds now. And two, it's an exhilarating experience to fly through clouds, thick as soup, trusting the instruments, then breaking out of the clouds with the runway right in front of you. New technology actually allows you to see through the soup that hides the runway in the distance. This is made possible by combining a high accuracy GPS unit, a tablet, and innovative software together to draw a three-dimensional view of your surroundings as if it were a clear day. It's like playing a flight simulator video game, except this video game is real life. Today we're using Four Flight Synthetic Vision on iPad with Stratus 2, and I'm going to overlay the synthetic vision on top of the outside view to see how the runway environment lines up with the digital depictions. Air 221 through Whiskey Madison, tower turn right direct gear at runway 32, clear for takeoff. The first approach is into Janesville Airport, which currently has a ceiling of 300 broken. ILS minimums are 200 feet, and that is why this is called low IFR. Let's skip to where we break out of the clouds. See how the approach lights come into view? And check out the runway alignment with the synthetic vision. Last, we're headed back home to Madison with a 600-foot ceiling. Breaking out of the clouds, the runway is aligned quite well with the synthetic vision, especially as we get closer. That's it for this episode. If you want to watch more of that flight, an extended version of the video is one click away. Soon I hope to share a low IFR night video where I've captured not only the iPad screen, but also the nav instruments. Thanks for watching.